Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Aries. So this is going to be a you and them love reading. I'll have your cards on one side and your person's cards on the other. This is someone you are connected to energetically, romantically, someone you are thinking about, and someone who is thinking about you. I'm recording this message for the energies of September, but I do ask these readings to be timeless and give you something you need to hear when you need to hear it. So for your cards, Aries, I'll be using the Mystical Manga Tarot by Ran and Barbara Moore. For your person, the Fortune Telling Tarot Deck by Yoshitaka Amono. And if clarifiers are needed, the traditional Rider Way. So let's get started. Spirit, what is the heart of the matter? What is Aries thinking overall about this connection or potential connection right now? What are some things going on in the daily life could be affecting this? What is happening in the heart space? How is Aries feeling about the person who is on their mind? What intentions, what intentions do they have towards this connection? And what is a potential outcome in the near future for whenever you are meant to hear this message? Okay, let's get the cards for your person. Spirit, what is the person on Aries' mind, the person connected to, coming towards Aries, thinking about Aries? What are they thinking? What is going on in the daily life? What are some things happening in the daily life? Could be affecting this connection. And what is happening in their heart space? How are they feeling? How are they feeling about Aries? What intentions do they have towards this connection? What intentions? What intentions do they have? And what is a potential outcome in the near future for whenever you are meant to hear this reading? One more card. One more card. Potential outcome. And looks like we have three jump out, but I am going to go ahead and take them. Okay. We do have on the bottom of the deck a hanged man energy, but I see the magician kind of peeking out here. Pisces could be significant, Aries and Gemini for me with this magician, but it feels like there could be somebody who's been waiting, hoping, maybe wanting something for a little while now with this hanged man energy. Maybe it's somebody who had been taking their time or moving slowly or just feeling like they weren't really sure, you know, what to do, what to say, or if they're even ready. But with this magician, magician kind of peeking out here, it feels to me like somebody who could have been taking their time is realizing, you know, this is the moment to take initiative. This is the moment to, you know, act on what I'm thinking and feeling and to stop waiting for something to happen, but to just go for it and make it happen. So interesting energies just getting started. I did see for Aries on the bottom of the deck, we have the six of pentacles. You do have the magician here as well. We have a few mirroring cards. So the two of you could be thinking some similar things about one another, but it feels like you're interested, you know, in taking a step or moving forward towards something if it feels like it's right, if it feels like it's balanced, if it feels like the other person is going to show up or feels for you what you feel for them, Taurus energy here. But what you're thinking overall is the four of wands, Aries energy, that is your energy. And this is feeling like someone could really be a match, like this could be your person. You could be very interested in somebody or some of you don't have anybody specific on your mind, could be meeting somebody that you could feel like is a match here in the very near future future, but with many of you that watch my readings, you do have somebody that you're thinking of, and this is somebody that you do want to see what can happen, see where this can go. This is something you want to explore and take to the next level. Fours are all about foundations and, you know, making something happen together. So it is very clear that you're interested in somebody, attracted them, wanting to talk to them, and I have to say they are interested in you as well. We had the two of cups jump out here for what this person is thinking overall about you. The Two of Cups, Cancer Energy, is somebody who definitely has feelings for you here with the Two of Cups. And I feel like with that Six of Pentacles, you know, that sense of if you're going to explore this or talk or take it to the next level, you need to feel like there's a matched energy. That Two of Cups is a matched energy. 
it is equal give and take, but it's somebody who's thinking a lot about what they're feeling about you. Maybe a step they want to take, how they want to explore this. But in your daily life, you've got a tower. We'll pull a clarifier to see what is going on there. Um, Aries, Scorpio, strong Aquarius as well, as this is uh, Uranus energy for some, Mars for others. Just depends upon how you take it. But this particular tower here is a little different from the traditional one because as you can see, these people aren't falling in different directions. It's two people that are getting closer, maybe during some sort of challenge or difficulty, or maybe somebody who has had some sort of a shakeup or, you know, pulled apart or gone in different directions for whatever reason, like pulling together. There also could just be some things going on in your life, shifting around, some things that are changing. And you could be, you know, thinking about how to connect or reach out or if you even, you know, if you even feel like it's the right time, if there's some, you know, kind of crazy things going on in your life with that tower. But let's see what that's all about. Tower isn't negative. The tower is, you know, um, when the universe comes in and shakes things up because there's some sort of karmic thing, past thing that just isn't meant to be a part of our experience anymore. And it's so that we can rise as our true selves. But sometimes those things that get shaken up, you know, they can... Um, it can be a lot. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a change. It's a much needed change, but it's a change all the same and sometimes unexpected. Spirit, why do we have the tower in the daily life here when it comes to Aries? Five of wands could be feeling very conflicted over here. And I do see a seven of swords and a five of pentacles, Taurus, Aquarius energy. There is a full kind of peeking out right behind this, Aries and Aquarius for me as well. But it feels like you could be making some sort of plans. You could be thinking of something or deciding something, maybe to move in a different direction. You could even be going through a breakup or have gone through some sort of breakup um, because it feels Feels like something could have really shaken up your stability. You could even be feeling like you're missing somebody. But behind that, we do have this fool, which is just what I'm talking about. It's a fresh start. It's a new beginning. It's cleared karma. It's zero point. Maybe after some difficult choices, maybe you had to pull back from something and just make some choices, you know, um, because of what, what whatever was happening. You had to just do what you knew was right for you. And I feel like sometimes that's all we really can do. You got the tower clarified by the five of wands leo energy here could have been some sort of conflict could have been a disagreement or you could just be feeling very conflicted about what is happening and maybe what you're feeling or where this can go in this connection there also just could be a lot going on in your daily life that has been a lot to handle but there can be you know with that five of wands that energy of, you know, feeling conflicted or not really sure, you know, wanting to take action, wanting this four of wands, but feeling anxious and stressed. And so when you take action, instead of, you know, creating the things you want, when you take action, when you feel stressed, sometimes you can create even more chaos. And so there's definitely, you know, there's definitely a shift going on here. And, um, We'll talk about it when we get to these energies, but I feel like something could have been stirred up so that you would just let go of something that just didn't, you know, didn't work, didn't feel right. So you could focus on what really matters to you. Your person has a four of cups and a four of wands in their daily life. It feels to me, so Cancer energy, Aries energy could be significant. Um, this is somebody who may feel like they've missed an opportunity or they don't even know if they have an opportunity. It's somebody in the traditional tarot who is kind of looking at what is and not really happy, but missing that ace of cups, you know, that the universe is offering. Maybe, you know, they had missed an opportunity or feeling like they missed an opportunity, but but they've got a four of wands. Both of you have that. That's mirroring energy. Those are some of my 11, 11 cards. Some of you could be in a strong soul connection, could be seeing synchronicities, things like that. But both of you do feel this, even though it's clear, you know, there's been some sort of challenge or, or difficulty of some sort. And your person could even be feeling very discouraged with this four of cups. Both of you feel like this is something worth exploring. Both of you want to talk. Both of you want to see what can happen and where it can go. 
in your heart space, you've got the Nine of Cups and your person has the star. So I'm just going to adjust my lighting just a little bit. There's a big shadow on the cards. There we go when I hold them up. Um, so with the Nine of Cups and the star, these are both wish cards for me, like somebody who could be wishing and hoping. Interesting that your person has the star here and you have the tower. The star in the journey, you know, the fool's journey in the major arcana comes after the tower, after a challenge or shake up. This is somebody who is awakening to, you know, who they truly are. They're opening their heart. So Pisces, Aquarius here, but, um, but it feels like, you know, whatever, whatever has gone down between the two of you and your heart space, it feels like you're thinking about each other. I mean, with this, this is, you know, can be wish come true, or this can be, you know, good news, or this can be wishing for someone. Um, it is an energy that is really good to be in to um, manifest that 10 of cups. We've got to be in that really good space on our own so that we can share that and explore that with somebody else. So you could be taking a little time just to get in your own energy and get clear, especially if there has been, you know, some chaos in your life or even in a connection, taking a little time to feel good, focus on what, you know, is important to you, do things you like. I know I've been painting like a ton this week and, um, if you guys like my art, because I put it up here so you can see it at my desk, I do post a lot on Instagram, but I've been painting a lot, feeling really creative, really getting into my own energy. And it feels like with that in your heart space, you could be just, you know, doing some things um, for you, but all the while could definitely be thinking of somebody and they are thinking of you. The star energy is somebody who is becoming more and more confident by the moment about who they truly are could have been a tough way of figuring things out because like I said it comes after the tower sometimes we have to go through a big shake up to realize what really matters but this is somebody who is awakening to their authenticity they're recognizing their own value and it feels like the more they recognize who they are and what they want the more this person keeps thinking about you now your intentions are the ten of swords a little bit complicated and um and I was, as I was saying, there's kind of a shift going on because there's like from like nothing to silence and we'll, and we'll talk about it when we get there to thinking about somebody waiting for the right moment and then, you know, taking some sort of initiative or somebody taking it towards you. But it's almost like a darkest before the dawn kind of energy. Like things could have gotten like completely quiet. There could have been a major miscommunication or you could just be thinking, you know what, if this person isn't going to talk to me or show up for me or express what they're feeling or go all in with this, then I'm not going to say anything. Like that ton of swords can be a lot of different things. You got to take it how it resonates for you. But it is the end of a painful cycle. Gemini energy could be significant. It's an end to overthinking. It's an end to being up in your head. You could just be deciding, you know what? I've been thinking about this so much and I've just got to get out of my head. And, um, and yet there's still more mental energy coming up and maybe just do some things that feel good, feel right, get myself into a good space, even if it means pulling away. Like you could be pulling away and getting a little quiet so you can sort some things out. Doesn't change what you're feeling for this person but this is kind of a quiet energy here spirit why do we have the ten of swords for aries intentions nine of cups yeah you know you could definitely be working on your own things a little bit look at these We've got the world, the page of pentacles, the temp <laughs> temperance energy, and there's that eight of pentacles. I know I've definitely just kind of thrown myself into my work, things I'm passionate about um, recently. So I, and I'm an Aries, I can identify with this energy here, but um, I'll do the signs real quick since all these cards wanted to be revealed. All the fixed energies for the world, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, all the earth, page of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and then we have the Temperance, Sagittarius, Eight of Pentacles, Virgo. So, might mean something to you, might not, if it sometimes those signs really confirm something. But with the World card, there's something about success, completion, achievement, you know, wanting to do something. And I also feel like, and these aren't even the clarifiers, the clarifier is the Nine of Cups, which makes perfect sense because that's in your heart space. 
Um, with the world card, you could be feeling a very strong connection to somebody, no matter where they're at in the world. There could be differences, you know, location, age, culture, things like that, backgrounds. But I feel like you want to talk. You want to see them. You want to hear their voice. You could be wanting to reach out or hoping, you know, to just have a conversation that's needed if things had gotten quiet. But you could also be just sort of throwing yourself into being in your own energy, working on things, doing things that feel right if you feel like this person is not showing up in the same way that you you know you would like um or you would like to show up for them got the ten of swords clarified by the nine of cups honestly you could be just trying to take your mind off all of this and enjoy yourself relax have a good time and yet I feel like you still keep thinking of this person and love is just kind of like that. I can't tell you how many times I'll get a personal reading and a person will be like, well, should I just, you know, close the chapter, stop thinking about them in this, cut the, and I'm like, tell me how you do that. <laughs> when I love somebody, I can't stop thinking about them. I'll throw myself into my art, my projects, my work and take my mind off it, get into a higher place. But it's like the heart just goes where the heart wants to go. And I feel like your heart will just kind of pull you you know towards somebody but um but yeah I mean obviously closure and releasing things that need to be released really important that could be what is on your mind right here sometimes we have to make um difficult choices doesn't mean we're not thinking about them and feeling things but we do have to choose what is best for us your person for their intentions is the two of pentacles and the ace of wands Capricorn energy Aries Leo Sagittarius with this ace of wands could be managing handling juggling a lot you know doing a lot of things trying to find some balance in their life getting some things sorted out and yet with this ace of wands it's clear there is like a tremendous attraction interest desire to say something do something take some sort of action towards this connection they could even be trying to find some balance in their life if they've had a lot going on um so that they can you know um really take some sort of step forward i mean the ace of wands is initiating something i love the ace of wands in a love reading especially if it's paired look at this with a two of cups and a four of wands this is somebody who sees you as a match they're interested in you they could have pretty deep feelings for you or they're getting deeper by the day they want to initiate something and they're looking for something you know honestly with those energies that could really last could go someplace it feels like the attraction is undeniable they could just want to have some sort of conversation um you know about the fact that they feel like this could be you know a two of cups like you really could be that person in your potential outcome we've got a knight of swords a temperance and a magician um libra gemini aquarius here strong aquarius with that knight of swords sagittarius and then i said before Aries and Gemini with, um, with these energies, you know how I was just kind of talking about like, you know what, I'm going to take a break, going to stop thinking about this, going to take my mind off, you know, take a little time, do my thing. Well, it feels like the mental energy, your mind still kind of traveling towards this person. And yet there is two very different energies because this Knight of Swords is a very fast moving energy. This is a Knight of Swords that just, you know, goes for it, doesn't think too hard, rushes in, doesn't always think about the outcome or the consequences, you know. But then we have this Temperance, which is Major Arcana here, and it is balanced. It is patient. It is understanding. It recognizes divine timing. It knows that, you know, this two of cups here, this what this person is thinking about when it comes to you, it is in the hands of divine, the connection, the love, all of this. It's like somewhere you just know that things are going to come together the way they're meant to come together. But there's also with the magician recognizing that we can manifest that we can create, that we can take initiative, that we can go after what is important to us and make things happen. So it's interesting. And I'm going to pull clarifiers to see how this all goes together. But it feels like somebody is on your mind like crazy. You could be, you know, the, the, you could just be going about your day, doing your thing, and your mind just rushes towards them. Could also be this energy coming towards you or somebody coming in a lot more quickly than you um, expect. With these major arcanas, though, with this temperance and the magician, I feel feel like you are kind of pacing yourself a little bit thinking things through because you know if I'm going to experience something if I'm going to create something I want it to be something that feels right I'm really and and I just keep thinking of this six of pentacles 
like you're interested. And I just picked this up to show you guys the Six of Pentacles and I saw, look at what, it's peeking out here. Doesn't surprise me at all with the Two of Cups being the heart of the matter for your person, Four of Wands for you, and then these mirroring cards showing up on either side. I think you are interested. Could be waiting for the right moment, the right time, but I think you do want to, you know, do something, say something, take some sort of step or communicate, but you definitely need to feel like this is somebody who is going to meet you, is going to meet you where you're at, that feels for you what you feel for them. And I think if that's the case, you are interested in really, really exploring this. Now, your person has... The High Priestess, the Sun, the Two of Wands, and the Three of Wands here. And this High Priestess came out like a little bit sideways. Like I almost was like, is that wanting to go in reverse or upright? And I feel like there's something that somebody's been thinking about, maybe holding in a little bit, maybe hasn't talked about, that they are seriously thinking about bringing out in the open with this Sun card. And there's somebody who has been planning, maybe waiting with this Two of Wands, who really wants to explore things more and more. So our signs here, Cancer, Pisces, Virgo, Leo, and Aries could be significant. But let's go ahead and get the clarifiers. But I do feel like with these cards paired together, something is going to come out in the open. This person feels like you could be their happiness. They think about you more than you know. I think they may have been planning for longer than you know to take some sort of step. And with the three of wands, they do want to. Like they want to talk. They want to see you. They want to be around you more and more. They want to explore this. So, okay. Why do we have the knight of swords, the temperance, and the magician? And for your person, why do we have the high priestess, the sun, the two of wands, and the three of wands? Wow. Okay, um, this is really interesting energy. You know, I got three clarifiers for your person. Let me see if I can get one more for you. And yeah, we just had one jump out. We have the Page of Swords and on the bottom of the deck, the Knight of Cups. Aries, you've got feelings for somebody. I think there could be some real hesitation with how to move forward. Scorpio energy here. But I think that, you know, you could be thinking about somebody. Your heart could be just reaching towards them. You could even be wanting to take some sort of step, make an offer. But we've got our Knight of Swords clarified by the Eight of Cups. You're getting some things sorted out in your life. Pisces energy here. This is somebody who is releasing things that don't serve, don't fulfill, to go look for their Ninth Cup, their Wish Fulfillment, their Tenth Cup, the happy, lasting connection. We've got the Temperance energy clarified here by the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo. You could be being patient and taking a little time to just be in your own energy. But we got the Magician clarified with a page of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You are interested. You do want to start something. You do want to make this happen. It comes all the way back to this Four of Wands where you feel like this could be somebody. But you're curious. You're wanting to know more. You're wanting to know Honestly, and it's been like a thread all the way through this equal give and take, this mutual, these mutual feelings. If this person feels this way, I feel like it's like the littlest thing and you could just be ready to speak from your heart. But I feel like part of you just kind of needs to know. Um, we have the High Priestess clarified by the Page of Wands. Something that's been held in, something that could have been kept secret, something, you know, somebody's been thinking about, feeling um, intuitively, could be a strong psychic connection, could be dreaming about you. They are wanting to say, they are wanting to reach out, to talk or communicate. Many of you are talking like regularly. So obviously, you know, it's not always the case of starting a new conversation, but it is wanting to talk. Aries Leo Sagittarius wanting to initiate something. It's interesting here that with their intentions, they've got this ace of wands, which is really taking a step. But with what they're doing here, we have a page of wands, which is being a little bit more careful, a little bit more hesitant, but definitely taking some sort of step. But look at this. 
we've got the sun clarified by the two of cups. We have seen the two of cups three times now. When it comes out with the sun, which is most positive, just beautiful card, good news and things coming together. It's a union, reunion kind of energy. Here with the two of cups, I feel like this person wants to be around you, needs to be around you, wants to see you, wants to take this to the next level because they feel like you're their happiness. We have the two of wands. I can't even believe these cards. Like, <laughs> Two of Cups and the Lovers came out here. We have the Two of Wands and Three of Wands clarified by the Lover's energy. Gemini energy could be significant, but the Two of Wands is somebody who wants to take a step. They've been thinking and planning and deciding, and maybe for a little bit, but it's somebody who hadn't quite got out of their shell yet or really, you know, taken that step. But the Three of Wands is somebody who feels like their ships are coming in because they're ready to get out there and explore this. With that being clarified with the lover's energy, it's undeniable. With this person, what this person feels for you and what they're beginning to feel more and more they can't resist. They know they need to take a step. They know need, they need to say something because they feel like you could be the one. I mean, there's no denying these kinds of energies. And when you've got the sun, the two of cups and the lovers here, whatever this conversation is with this ace of wands, there's a lot more behind it. This person feels like you could be their happiness. And I think, you know, whatever you're doing here to get into a good space, to be in your own energy, kind of trust in the universe, it is bringing things together in the right time and the right way. Because honestly, you both want this four of wands. And I feel like it's just a matter of time here. So that is the message I have for you. I do hope that something in here spoke to everyone who was guided to the reading. If you enjoyed the message, please put a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love if you would. If you'd like a personal reading, the link is in the description box of this video, as well as my Patreon for bonus content throughout the month. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon.